Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your Eclipse so we can start running the JDK 1.8 inside your Eclipse. So, right here, I have gone to the eclipse.org site, which, if you want to pause the video and type this in, and what this is, is for the Kepler uh, line of Eclipse IDEs, which is the latest, it shows you how to download and set up the new paths for the Java 8. So what you're going to want to do is come down here and copy this, control C, and then you're going to want to go to your Eclipse uh, Kepler and go to help, go to install new software, and then where it says work with, we're going to want to do control V, which is paste, and it will search for this, and you're going to want to click that. I guess it's not doing it because I already have it, but you're going to want to say next, and say next a few more times and say finish and when you do that you can start a new project Java project say next and you probably don't have the JRE 8 up yet you probably have the JRE 7 but you will now have right here the Java SE 1.8 so you can click on that and if you need to change the JRE to the JRE 8, you want to go to configure JREs, then I want to go to add standard VM, and you're going to want to find your JRE 8. So go to directory, and I'm going to go to computer, local disk C, program files, and Java, exactly where the JDK 1.8 is, and right here we have JRE 8. So just click that and say OK and I already have it in use but all of these uh, jar files will pop up I'm just going to say cancel but as soon as that happens then this screen will pop up and just make sure that you click the JRE8 as your default and then um, just say OK so now I want to make sure that's the JRE8 just make sure everything's running perfectly fine so now we can go to project name and just say new JRE8. Say next, finish. And you should be able to have it set up right here and be able to run anything that is new in the JDK 1.8. So there you go. Please subscribe below. So there you go. So now what you can do is you can either search for Java's new features or I'll try to even make some videos uh, coming up. I've been quite busy with life in general, but I'll try to make a few more videos as well as some of the C++ videos. Thank you guys for watching.